week, uh, we'll talk about the tree models. So specifically, we'll talk about the decision tree models um, and its variations uh, like the random forest model and also the gradient boost uh, tree model. So uh, those tree models like decision tree, random, for, uh, random forest and those gradient boost tree models um, has won a lot of awards in the machine learning model computations. So those are the one of those most powerful models that among the other machine learning models. Um, and we will also talk about another way that to assess the performance of a machine learning models. So that we call cross validation. So we already mentioned the split test or the split validation. So cross validation is a, is a similar way that can see the generalized performance of a machine learning model. Okay, so before we start, so let's think about, uh, let's, let's do a game. So let's say that uh, this is the old game that uh, you want to guess something by asking a series of questions and I can just answer yes or no. Okay, and after three questions, see, can you guess what we are talking about? So let's say here we want to guess an I cost number. So you need to ask, let's say, ask three questions and let's guess yes or no. So let's say first question is that I would ask you, so is that taught by myself? And I would say yes. Okay, uh, because I am asking the question, I gave you this question. So you may ask, so is that cost taught by me? So I say yes. Okay, and the second question is that, okay, so um, now you will know that, okay, so that question was, is taught by me. So uh, you want to try to narrow down those causes from all I causes. So let's say, um, uh, is it, is that cost taught in this semester? And I will say no. Okay, so now it further narrowed down the courses. So that means that is not offered in the fall semester. So then that is offered in the spring semester. So now if we narrow all the courses that taught by me and also um, offered in the spring semesters, so actually there are only two options, uh, either I A. Uh, yeah, actually, I I forgot. Okay, five four one. So which is Python, and also I A, three forty. So that is data mining. So so now you have two choice. So I will guess. Okay, so is that I three forty? And I say yes. And the answer is I three forty. Okay, so that uh, to guess. The, the output, the target, the, res the final result, you need to ask a set of questions. And I just, my answer will yes or no, yes or no. And finally, you can reach the result. And you can see that in this game, the most important part is that ask the right, okay, the right question. Okay, so the right question will help you filled out the other uh, possibilities and also to reach the answer very fast. Okay, so ask the right question. Decision tree is following the similar uh, procedure. So decision tree use a, a tree structure uh, to represent many possible decision passes and an outcome for each pass. Okay, so either for a regression model or for classification. So it just use, uh, we are using a tree structure and we are going to ask all the possible uh, questions and based on the answers, we split um, the past and also hope, hopefully finally that can help us to reach uh, the answers. Okay, uh, so for example, in this example that we are using this tree structure and um, our ultimate goal is that we want to ask the house type. Okay, so is that a single family home, condo, 
uh, land allowed uh, our townhouse. So here you can see in this model, we are asking the first question that is about the house price. So is that house price that greater than this price or less than this price? Uh, if we say that is less than this price, then our second question will be that is the house that built um, before 2000 or after 2000? Okay, before 2000 or after 2000. And if that house is built before 2000, and that is a land or lot. So the type is land or lot. If that house is built after 2000, and that house will be a single family home. Okay, so 100% uh, that will be a single family home. And if that house is less expensive than this price, and we ask a second question so that the house is built um, based on the year so that, okay, so we see that is uh, after 2017 and that is definitely a condo, 100% a condo. Uh, if the house is built before 2014 and we ask uh, another question, is that house built uh, before or less than this year? And if um, if it was uh, before this year, it is hardly likely a single family home. Otherwise, we ask another question that about price. And here we can see we have two final two possibilities. Uh, if that is less than this price, it is highly likely a condo. Otherwise, it is highly likely a single family home. Okay, so uh, once we have the, this structure, this tree structure, this tree structure is um, trained from our training data. And now if we have a new data set, let's say the house that is, um, is uh, uh, price is this, okay? Uh, oh, sorry, that, let's see, 60,000, okay, 60,000. And also that is built uh, after 2000, uh, in 2001, okay? So the price is this one, and I was built in this year. And we bring that record into this decision tree, and we say, okay, so that is um, uh, less than this one. And also we check the day that's been built, and that also after 2000. So, okay, so now we say, okay, this record will be a land or lot. Okay, so that is how we can make predictions for the new record. So we bring that record and follow this decision tree and will give you the prediction. So you can see that to train this model, uh, the most important part is that to ask those right questions, to those right questions. And the quality of those questions is measured based on either impurity, uh, gene impurity, all based on the information gain. And those information gain or the gene impurity was calculated by the information theory, which is like the entropy. Okay, and we are not going to talk about details about the entropy, but just let you know that uh, the most important part in the decision tree is that how you can ask the right questions. And those questions, the quality of those questions is measured by either impurity or the information gain, which is based on the information theory. And we are not going to details about the information theory.